CU's football coach is facing a lot of criticism tonight. A player accused him of using a racial slur at practice, but some of his teammates say it was taken out of context. Matt Howerton joins us now live. Matt, walk us through what happened here. Well, Cynthia, you know this. A lot of people know the name Gary Patterson. So for North Texas, not just Fort Worth, this has been a big story all afternoon for sports fans. It's been front and center. One of his linebackers, Patterson's linebackers on defense, Dylan Jordan, took to Twitter and accused Patterson of using the N-word during a weekend practice, which led to some team members boycotting practice this morning. Jordan described a confrontation with Patterson that he says escalated quickly. In the tweet, Jordan says Patterson said, said you're an effing brat. I'll send you back to Pitt. Jordan's from Pittsburgh, Kansas, and when Jordan asked why the tweet says Patterson replied with you've been saying the N word in the meeting room. Jordan claims that Patterson tried explaining this morning, dropping the slur again, saying I wasn't calling him an N word. Now, several players on the team have come to Patterson's defense, saying that the coach was just trying to police the use of the word and never meant any harm with the slur. Uh, after George Floyd's death, Patterson took to Twitter and posted a video Video pushing for racial equality, saying that we all have to do better. We have to do better. I have to do better. We have to be part of the solution. We must change. I challenge all coaches and leaders to use their platform to create change. We must try to make it possible for all our children to grow up with the possibility to achieve our dreams. Now, we haven't heard from Patterson or TCU this evening, but the student newspaper TCU 360 is reporting that the coach apologized to team leadership this evening. The university's chancellor in that report is quoted saying that this was a teachable moment for Patterson and many others involved. Izzy, back to you. All right, Matt, thank you.